The Atlas of Heart Disease and Stroke is a data-rich tool anyone can use to examine the cardiovascular disease burden in communities across the United States. For those who receive funding from CDC's Division for Heart Disease and Stroke Prevention, the maps in the Atlas can be used to support your work. In this presentation, we will walk through examples of how you can use the Atlas to improve hypertension management in your communities. For an overview of the Atlas or step-by-step -step instructions, go to www.cdc.gov and search Atlas of Heart Disease and Stroke. The Atlas provides easy access to a wide range of high-quality, local-level data. For this example, we'll be using data on self-reported hypertension prevalence, that is, adults who have been told by a health professional that they have high blood pressure, along with rural-urban status, community characteristics, proximity to care, medication use, and population demographics. This example demonstrates how you can use the Atlas to examine and communicate patterns of hypertension in your community. We can start by examining geographic patterns of hypertension prevalence by county. We can see the location of counties with the lowest prevalence of hypertension in light pink and those with the highest prevalence of hypertension in dark red, as well as the counties in the middle categories. On this map, we can see that counties with the heaviest burden of hypertension are concentrated primarily in the southeastern region. The legend to the right of the map shows the number of counties in each category in parentheses. There is also a category for insufficient data, which may occur when the population in an area is too small to generate a reliable estimate. With the Atlas, you can also map data by census tract. This allows for a more local level view of geographic differences in the prevalence of hypertension. It should be noted that census tracts in urban areas are often too small to show up on a state map. So when mapping by census tract, it's important to zoom in for an urban area in order to see the geographic patterns or differences within that area. When you're using the Atlas, it is easy to zoom in and out of an area. It's important to note that maps from the Atlas of Heart Disease and Stroke provide important contextual information but do not indicate causation. Rather than drawing conclusions about relationships, we can use these maps to understand the characteristics of communities with varying prevalence of hypertension. This context informs hypertension management decisions that are tailored to the needs of each community. Now, let's start to contextualize hypertension prevalence using additional maps. Here we see maps of rural urban status and hypertension prevalence. The most rural areas are light teal, and the most urban areas are dark teal. In this example, it appears that counties with the highest prevalence of hypertension are often in rural areas. Now that we've established hypertension prevalence and rural urban patterns, let's examine a few community characteristics. The Atlas displays data for a range of community characteristics, including poverty. On this slide, we are displaying patterns of hypertension prevalence, this time at the census tract level, and the percent of the population living below the poverty line, also by census tract. These maps could help to further specify where hypertension prevention and treatment programs are needed and how to tailor them to the needs of those communities. Lack of health insurance is an obstacle to accessing healthcare. With the Atlas, we can compare the geographic patterns of hypertension prevalence at the census tract level to the percent of those without health insurance also by census tract. Now let's take a look at where people may be able to seek medical care with or without health insurance. With the Atlas, you can see the locations of federally qualified health centers, or FQHCs, shown as light blue circles, together with the geographic pattern of hypertension prevalence. With this map, we can identify the areas with high prevalence of hypertension but little proximity to FQHCs. These data can be mapped both at the census tract and county levels. We can see that even at the county level, there are entire counties with the highest prevalence of hypertension but no FQHCs. Because medication is one very important way to address hypertension, it is helpful to observe how the patterns of high blood pressure medication use line up with the prevalence of hypertension. That is what we are looking into with these two maps. And comparing these maps, we see that many of the counties with the highest prevalence of hypertension also have high proportions of high blood pressure medication use. We can break these data down by census tract 2 to look at hypertension prevalence and medication use at a more granular level. The Atlas also includes county-level data on pharmacies and drugstores per 100,000 people. 
This way, we can identify if there may be communities with high prevalence of hypertension, but little geographic proximity to pharmacies. The atlas includes important demographic data by county and census tract. These maps provide important contextual information that can be used to identify where priority populations are located. For instance, you can display maps by age group, such as the count of people age 18 and older, or the percent of the total population age 65 and older. If you're interested, you can also examine the population distributions by sex. These demographic data also include the racial and ethnic makeup of an area at the county and census tract levels. You can use these demographic data to tailor hypertension prevention and treatment programs to the needs of specific communities. However, hypertension prevalence data are not available at the county or census tract level for these demographic groups. The Atlas has numerous features you can use to make and share data and maps. Once you've created the maps you want, you can create a link to share each map, download your maps as PDFs, download the data used to make the maps, create downloadable county profiles, and view the data in table form. To recap, Using the atlas, we made maps that display the prevalence of hypertension by county and census tract, rural urban status, poverty status, health insurance status, FQHC locations, hypertension medication use, pharmacies and drug stores, and community demographics. Maps like these can be used to document geographic differences in your communities, enhance partnerships both within your organization and with other organizations, and tailor program planning to the needs of your community. Thank you for watching. You can find the Atlas of Heart Disease and Stroke and instructions on how to use the Atlas by visiting www.cdc.gov and searching Atlas of Heart Disease and Stroke.